What's up guys? Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video, we'll show you how to create an eye-catching ebook mock-up using Illustrator and a free Photoshop template. We've also created a free Illustrator template for setting up your artwork, which you can download from the description below. So I'll pass you over to Rory now, who will take you through the process. Thanks Ross. So to begin this process, the first thing we're going to need to do is find a decent Photoshop template file for a book mockup. So I'm on a website right now called Mockup World. We use this website all the time. It's a really good directory of free Photoshop mockups. You can find a lot of great things on here, but I'm just going to start by doing a search for book. And although we're talking about an ebook here, essentially the mockup we're creating is going to be that of a physical book. Now, this is because something like an ebook is obviously a digital product, and by using a mockup of a physical book, it gives it a slightly more physical presence and it adds a bit more substance to the product. So, as you can see, we We've got tons of different mock-ups here, but we're just going to keep scrolling through until we find something that we like the look of. Now, you can obviously download any of these and the principles we're going to be looking at in this tutorial will apply to really any other kind of book mock-up as well. So this is the mock-up we're going to be using in this tutorial today. This is quite a nice idea, the fact that we've got two books stacked on each other and with a lot of these Photoshop files, we actually have a lot of customization. So as you'll see when we open this up, we actually have the ability to remove one of the books and just feature a single book so this gives us a little bit more freedom and customization so I'm going to click free download and that's going to take us through to the actual source of this mock-up and as you can see here this is a website called graphics fuel now each mock-up can be a different supplier so be aware that it may take you through a different path to actually download it but we're just going to scroll to the bottom and we have a download mock-up button and that will just start downloading automatically so if I jump over to Photoshop now we've opened up this mock-up and this is what we get. Now one thing before I continue you should always check the licenses with all of these mock-ups. Some will be free to use for personal and commercial work whereas some will only be usable for personal work so depending on what you're going to be doing with it you should check the licenses first and that way you're not going to have to worry about where you can use them. Now over on the right hand side we have our layers here and you can see how this is set up. Now right at the top this is the layer that we're going to be paying the most attention to so it's where it says add book cover and if you've seen our box mock-up tutorial this is working in a very similar way this layer is essentially what's known as a smart object which means if I double click on the thumbnail we get taken through to essentially another file but this is linked to our parent file here and any changes we make to this artwork are going to get applied to our main file so this is very clever and this is how we're going to put this mock-up together now to help with this we we have set up a free Illustrator template that you can use alongside this Photoshop template. So this is set up to the correct size for this mock-up and be aware if you're using a different mock-up it may well be set to a different size. So this isn't a one-size-fits-all template however you'll hopefully still be able to get a good idea of how we're using it. So as I say this is set up to the same size as our book cover. We've set up a very simple example of a potential book cover. You'll also notice on the right hand side we have layer set up within here. We have a background, a text layer, and we also have a guides layer that's turned off by now, but this is just to add some rough margins so that you're not going too close to the edge of the cover. So you're welcome to use this and set up your own designs. And what I'm going to do from here is just export this so that we can bring it into Photoshop and use in our mock-up. So I'm going to export this artwork now to bring into Photoshop by going up to File, Export, Export As. Within our template folder, we have an exports folder so I'm just going to double click into here. I can leave this as a PNG format that's going to work fine for this example. I would recommend leaving this as either PNG or you could equally select JPEG as long as you're keeping the quality at maximum it's going to work well. Now this is set up within an artboard. If you had multiple artboards you could specify them from here as well but in this example we're only using the one artboard so I'm just going to go ahead and click export. I can leave the resolution at 72 
pixels per inch because that's what our Photoshop file is set up as and I don't really need to worry about the rest of these settings. I can go ahead and click OK. So jumping back over to Photoshop, this is the file that we're wanting to drop our new artwork into. So I'm just going to grab my Finder window. We have our Exports folder here and as you can see within here we have our exported book cover and all I need to do is click and drag this into my Photoshop file and you can see this is already snapping to be the exact size of this file. I could delete the layers below. I can equally create more edits within here so I could essentially grab my type tool for example and start typing some more text within here and that's going to apply as well. However I'd recommend creating your graphics within Illustrator as it's much more powerful for the creation of vector graphics and custom text. So all I need to do from here is save this. So I'm just going to press Command S on a Mac, Control S on a PC. I can close this file now and you can see this is now being applied to our Photoshop mockup. So it's very, very easy to put a mockup like this together. As I was saying, we have some control over the customization of this. Over on the right hand side, you'll see we have two folders named book. If I turn off the visibility of the top book, you can see we're just left with one so this is very useful. You'll also notice down below we have some options for colouring the background. We have a hidden layer here that if I turn on is going to change the colour of the background. However if I click on the icon within that layer you can see we have a slider here that we can play around with colours and we could fine tune this to our liking. What we could also do is just turn that layer off and go down to this layer called BG and if I grab my paint bucket tool I could apply a custom colour within here as well. So we could actually eye drop the dark blue for example and if I click on that layer it's going to change and match the colours of the book. Something I like to do as well is just go for a very subtle gradient. So if I double click on this blue colour again I'm actually just going to select a very light grey, click OK and our background colour is set to white so we can create a very subtle gradient. I'm just going to click and hold on the paintbrush tool, go to my gradient tool and I can basically just click and drag to create a gradient gradient of my choosing. This is quite a nice technique as it just adds a little bit more depth to the overall image but we can customise this to our liking. You'll also notice I can zoom in quite a bit and we're not going to see too much loss in quality so this is a very high resolution mock-up as well. It gives us even more control over where we can use this. Lastly I could equally remove the background layers and have a transparent background and that's going to help if you want to place this over other images or any other kind of content for that matter. So this is really useful and from here I can go ahead and save this to the number of formats that are offered to us in Photoshop. As you can see we have some more options within here. I'll select PNG again for this example. I'll navigate to our template folder, click save, click OK and if I navigate back to my folder we have our final mock-up here. As you can see this is on a transparent background and this is ready to use. So there you have it. By using these template files, it's simple to create a quality looking ebook mockup in a few easy steps. If you have any questions, then drop a comment down below and we'll do our best to help. And if you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful designers, which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colours for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you're serious about levelling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for. And ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there. <laughs>